motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, sorry. <laughs> uh, shame. Yeah, it is a shame. We're telling, they're telling our followers, Jow. What's up, people? How are we? Good morning, rather. Good afternoon. We are in the sunshine state with my boy Jow. How's it going, guys? What's happening? Okay, so um, I really wanted to get involved with this hurricane relief, so I was looking at certain avenues and saw my boy Jow, who is really active, and I'm so proud of him. So right now, we are headed to Boca Raton, where we are picking up some supplies, and we are taking them to a drop-off plane service that acute will be air. acute air, and that will be expedited what, what, after the weekend or whatever? No, or no, right every, now, every today? Day, every day one plane okay. gets out. Okay, every day a plane goes. So listen, we have set up, there's a GoFundMe page, there's a link, all right? And we will be giving you that and posting it upon our pages, both Jao and myself. We're obviously Below Deck cast members. We're pretty easy to find on Instagram. I'm at Ben Stogram and you are at... Joao Grant Franklin. Drow Grant Franco, what a legend. Uh, so listen, I'm not sure if everyone is aware of this, but obviously Marsh Harbor and, uh, and, and the Freeport in the Bahamas is absolutely really close to my heart. In fact, I have filmed twice in Marsh Harbor, all right? So that would be, I think, season two. It was season two and Four of Below Deck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that that was the, ori the original series. So I want everyone to know that really we're coming from an amazing place and this is really, really close to our hearts. So we are going to do everything we can. Myself, I am going to donate a thousand dollars and I am actively giving my clients, ex-clients and friends support enough to be able to expedite certain things plus money to the Bahamas. Money is very important because money. they need medical. medical. Yeah, medical, right. medical is a big thing. And um, as we've stated before, what happens is everyone gets used to uh, what happens in the moment of the hurricane. But right now we need to get everything because it's the after effects that people don't realize is most important. So these planes, there's very few that can go into these areas. We need the GoFundMe mainly for the fuel and to get the medical supplies that we cannot buy over the counter. So again, Ben's gonna post the GoFundMe. I'm really happy to be with him now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go pick up some supplies and take them to the storage place and uh, take what we can, priority stuff to, to the plane as we speak. So uh, keep up to date with us and look for the GoFundMe page. Thanks guys. Hey, yeah, thanks, Jao, for that. So listen, yeah, my boy Jao and I, we are really doing our best. We are going to give you all of the information that you might be able to also chip in. Every little bit Every counts. Bit counts. Every, Every single bit, bit counts, counts, counts. counts, that's right. And um, so we're just really happy to be involved. I'm actually incredibly busy this weekend. I'm catering a big event on Saturday in Carl and Gables. We've got Watch What Happens Live, myself and Ben. For all those that are interested, we'll be on Andy Cohen on Monday after the show. Right, so we're flying out on su well, I'm flying out on Sunday after an event on Saturday. So just to let you know, we're incredibly busy, but we're taking some time out to do this. We feel like we are public figures at this point and and below deck, we have obviously filmed there twice. So it's major, majorly important to us. We need to put this island back in shape and uh, hopefully maybe do we even do another below deck season there. So Absolutely. Yeah. I, must, I must say, as, and it may not be what anyone wants to hear, but um, with speaking to the medical team that have actually landed and uh, gone out to help with search and rescues, the biggest issue they have is people are amputating their own legs and limbs because they don't have the medical support that they need. There are, there are um, uh, women giving birth um, with no medical support. So these are things and these are the after effects that people don't realize is happening right now. And again, with what, uh, with what Ben said, what is the point in a social media following other than to help everyone out? So please, again, the GoFundMe is a huge one. Um, any medical su uh, supplies. The one thing I've noticed, which has been fantastic, I've had a few doctors get a hold of me 
what they're offering is expired antibiotics. Now, just because they're expired, they get thrown away, but they're actually still good. So if you guys could reach out to any doctors of any sort um, to, to try and obtain what we can um, and have it delivered to the plane, that, that's really, really crucial. So again, we're doing our absolute best. That's an amazing point. These guys are desperate and obviously we are going to be bending the rules. Well, they will be bending the rules. The Bahamian government will be, uh, will be bending the rules and also the American just to give them the support they need. So anything helps really. So all those doctors out there, expired meds, send them over. Uh, and please, please stay in touch with us. Write me uh, on, my, uh, on, my, on my instant messages. Plus Jow, we will also be posting short videos on our pages and just give you all of the relevant information. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. We are just about to take the exit off into Boca Raton to uh, meet this company. So anyway, you take care. We love you. And uh, all the best to everyone in the Bahamas. Stay strong and know that you have our support and our prayers are with you. Goodbye, my lovelies. Take care. Hi everyone, good morning, how you doing? So, as you can see, I've got some eggs on the boil for me and my boy Jao, and we will be helping with the Dorian Relief Program in the Bahamas. So we're doing some coordination, and we're gonna keep you posted throughout the day, and we're gonna let you know which charity organizations to donate money to, and also the drop-off places. I hope everyone's well, so join me on our mission. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Guys, hello, just to update you. So I'm at this wonderful outfit called Nomad's Surf Shop in Boca Raton right now. And as you can see, these guys are loading into that truck a lot of different stuff, uh, non-perishable foods, lots of water, bloody heavy water, by the way. Anyway, so just to keep you notified, this is a drop-off point for the next few days. Nomads Surf Shop in Boca Raton. Anyway, thanks a lot. Cheers. Guys, hello, how are you? Listen, so I know it's been a bit of a cluster F today because we've been running around and doing a lot of stuff for this hurricane relief. So just to update everyone, check my story out. Uh, it will suggest you go to Nomad's Surf Shop in Boca. This is the drop-off point. They need medical stuff. They need non-perishable food items. They need tops they need uh they need a lot of stuff paper goods sanitary goods female products baby products including food the rest of that that would be brilliant also you can find a go fund me link on this story so go back donate money anything helps i am going to do a very concise video that will belong on my page okay so don't worry about that i'll be shooting that in about an hour and again i am donating a thousand dollars my assistant has donated a thousand dollars my clients are donating money so please any bit counts thank you so much my lovelies take care Okay guys, this is the truck approaching. We are now at an airport, an executive lounge in Fort Lauderdale. And that is our jet over there. How gangster is that? Hold on, let's get a, see if we can get a better image of it. And that's waiting for us. So here's the truck. And we've got Jow's truck right behind it. A big shout out to Jao, who's got a company that's just coming out. It's called MVAC, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, here we go, truck, airport, jet. So we are a legitimate organization, and I know everyone's telling us to do the Bethany Frankel thing, but by the way, we're trying to attract below deck followers, okay? Not everyone watches Bethany Frankel, okay? I know that she's doing an amazing job, but we also have our own fan base. 
So stop harping on about but bloody Bethany Frankel. All right, cheers. Thanks a lot, everyone. Anyway, stay tuned and please donate money and go to the drop-off zones. All right, cheers, cheers, everyone. Bye. Okay, hi guys, how are we? We're um, actually just going to the drop-off point right now. But earlier on the story, you may have seen that jet. Now that is, I think, Jal says, the only jet that has been cleared as a medical ambulance to drop off medical supplies in and, the Bahamas. And to evacuate, uh, and to evacuate injured people. So far they've done a fantastic job. They've got a few families up and evacuating injured people, okay? So, please drop, drop off all of your medical stuff and any other donations at the aforementioned surf shop, Nomad's Surf Shop. It's on this story, it's in Boca Raton. So, we're gonna stay tuned and we actually have another update. Jow's right, he's gonna, he's gonna tell us about a barge that we need. Yeah. <laughs> we have tons and tons of boats. We haven't quite been cleared to get to the Bahamas, right? Yeah. But hopefully we're looking at clearance on Monday or Sunday. That would be ideal and then we can bring heavier stuff like generators, extra fuel, stuff like that that is just way too heavy and cumbersome for jets. Okay, here he is. We need a barge. <laughs> right, um, through the medical team, they have, they're, what they're trying to find now is a, a sort of barge that they have, they have one um, marina that they can actually access. What's wrong is that they cannot get from one spot to the next, from the airport to, uh, it's a 15 minute drive. So what we're looking for, and it sounds incredible, but we're looking for a, a boat that can take a utility vehicle across so that they can get the people that are stuck about 15 minutes away by vehicle and then bring them back to the airport to evacuate them. So it's a huge call and obviously we're trying our level best to get out. But if you guys can find anyone that can help, we're trying our best. And where would they be? They'd be they'd be i guess on island or yes what? so it's obviously it's uh, i think it's just and i need to clarify it's just out of nasa i think people can get into treasure key um but we're going to confirm that for a fact and then we need to try and organize for a utility vehicle to be dropped off at the um at the the on the island um obviously so that they can get the people that cannot reach there um it's it's actually it's devastating i've been told that um if i go i need to have a strong stomach so that's how bad it is um we really need to understand that this is happening right now and of course i'm, I'm gonna sorry uh, pause there i'm going at four o'clock to the bahamas um so i can see where this stuff is personally going and for everyone else to understand that it's going to the right place because i believe um people are a bit worried about that so Again, GoFundMe, uh, we've got the GoFundMe, but if anyone can help in any way, this is really, really important. Yeah. All right, guys, stay tuned for more updates. Thank you so much. Our GoFundMe page is posted on both my story and Jow's. We're gonna be putting up a video when we have time just to really clarify the, uh, the diagnosis of, of what we're doing, what needs to happen, and that will stay up on our pages. But as for now, look at Jal DeFranco's story, plus obviously mine at Chef, uh, at Ben Stogram. Um, so check it out, stay tuned, and thank you so much for all of your interest. Cheers. Guys, hello, hello, how are you? Listen, I wanted to do a massive shout out to Jetscape. That's where we are. They're allowing us to use our hang uh, their hangar for all of our provisions and supplies because obviously the Executive Lounge Airport does not have room for it. So we've obviously got tons of stuff and we're unloading a whole bunch right now to use this facility. So big shout out to Jetscape in Fort Lauderdale. Um, and I apparently here they've got some pretty sweet planes So that's really cool. Thanks guys. Cheers. Anyway, so 
Listen, we've tried to reach uh, Bethany Frankel, or part of our organization has. Obviously, she's a very busy lady. A fan just wrote to me and said that she does have a bloody barge in the Bahamas, which is great. But what we're trying to do, and what we really need to do, is to get a vehicle, a utility vehicle, to treasure key in Nassau. Now that is a marina that apparently has been not so damaged by the hurricane and w will enable everyone to drive around and, uh, and, and give medical supplies to people on island. So, this is what we need to do. So, if anyone knows someone who is capable of bringing a utility vehicle to Nassau, we recommend a barge or whatever, that would be incredible because that would really be able to facilitate what we're trying to do, which is get it, getting provisions and medical supplies to people on island in desperate need. Anyway, I'm gonna keep you updated and I'm gonna give you a little bit more clarification as the day goes on. But anyway, massive shout out to Bethany Frankel. I know I was just taking the piss earlier. But yeah, obviously it's not a competition, but we have resources, we have our own fan group. So we're just using that. It's got, it's nothing to do with the competition. We love what you're doing, Bethany. Thank you so much. I know you have a very well established uh, foundation out there. We are just doing our best and looking out for uh, some neighboring, uh, neighboring uh, locations such as Boca, Flor South Florida, the rest of that. So what we're trying to do is just use our resources, which we have, and our fan base. If you follow Bethany Frankel, it doesn't necessarily mean that you follow any of the Below Deck crew. We're a very different program. Anyway, thank you so much. Big shout out to Bethany. Please reach us and see what you can do because apparently you have a barge. This could help the utility vehicle saga. Anyway, bye everyone. Cheers, thanks a lot. Love ya, bye. Oh, cool, all right. Hey guys, how are you? Listen, no, no rest for the wicked. Although we're trying to solve hurricane problems, I do have a gig on Saturday in Coral Gables, Miami. So I've just stopped by my old friend Aaron who owns Culinary Convenience. And he has sold me some, which by the way, he should be giving them to me for free, but whatever. Um, he's, he was so kind to sell me all of these little terrine molds and we're gonna make amazing stuff. Look at my, uh, my page or at Benstogram and you'll see some really cool aspic stuff that I've been doing with Lobster. This is my boy, amazing support team throughout the years. So take care, no sleep for the wicked, not even wicked chefs. Check it, laters, mother lovers. Yeah, right.